Hello everyone, Bruce Elgord here with a video on how to create HTML lists that contain other HTML elements. In this video, we're going to talk about three things. One is I'm going to give you a quick uh, look, quick tour of my products page. Secondly, I'm going to talk about how to create HTML lists that contain other lists and elements. Again, this is going to help you with your products page. And then we'll talk about how to style uh, list item markers. Okay, so let's carry on. Here is my products page. And again, uh, there was another video that was available prior to this video to give you a tour. And the things that you want to pay attention to here are the things in the content section of the page. Most importantly, the one ordered list in there that contains the Roman numeral one, snare drums, Roman numeral two, drum kit, and Roman numeral three, symbols, okay? That is one HTML ordered list, which happens to have its CSS list style type property set to upper Roman or upper dash Roman. That's the value, okay? Within each of those ordered lists, list items, you'll see an unordered list, okay? And if you look at snare drums, right, you see in there that there are three list items that have square bullets. Again, list style type, list dash style dash type is the property and the value for those happens values of those list items right happens to be a square okay now those inner list items are part of the first list item of the ordered list and again that's something we'll talk about in this video in this video i'm going to try to create here as you can see on the screen bruce's deli okay just a section of a page that happens to have uh, four things on it, right? Burgers, sandwiches, pizza, and beverages, okay? And in the next video here, you can see that I had changed those, or I will be showing you how to change the default numbers, right? One, two, three, four, to in this case, right? Lower case Roman numeral numbers, okay? So let's get started. Here I'm in my editor and I'm just going to create an H1 that says uh, Bruce's Deli, right? Bruce's Deli. And now is where I need to create, you know, burgers, sandwiches, uh, you know, let me just go back to see what I needed to create here because I didn't remember it. So I need to create burgers, sandwiches, pizza, and beverages, okay? So I need to create an ordered list. Okay, and I'm going to close out my tag. And in that ordered list, I needed to create right burgers. That was my first item. And my second item was, I don't know, was it sandwiches? It doesn't really matter. Okay, Sandwiches. And my fourth item was, uh, let's just go with pizza. Okay, And the last item, uh, let's go with beverages. Okay, beverages. Okay, so let me save that and preview it in my browser so you can see what it's going to look like. And there I have Bruce's Deli. I have four items, burgers, sandwiches, pizza, and beverages. Super, right? That's, that's, that's what we wanted, right? But here's the thing. Inside of burgers, right, we wanted to create, right, we needed to create, right, the burgers that we, we have on our menu, right? So a lot of you would think, right, that you can just go here, right, and do an unordered list, right, and put stuff in there. But while that may appear right in your browser, it's not valid HTML. And if you ran it through the validator, it, it, it just wouldn't validate, right? So here's the, here's the trick. And again, this tip or trick or technique is explained in the tips and techniques document for the products page, which you can find in Canvas. So here it is. You see where my cursor is here on line 10? If I hit a carriage return there, here 
is where you can place HTML, whether it be a paragraph, you know, of, of text, okay, right, whether it be a paragraph of text, whether it be an image, right, or whether it be another, say, unordered list, okay, and that's what we're going to use here. Check it out. Let's put uh, hamburger, hamburger, whoop, hamburger, okay, let's put cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger and let's put I don't know a double uh, bacon bacon cheeseburger bacon cheeseburger okay now that let me uh, that HTML right displays like this see how we have our outer ordered list and then inside of the first li let me move this over here okay right over so you can kind of see it here burgers right is right here and here's burgers with the number one and then inside we have an unordered list and right now we happen to have these these disks or circles or whatever they are I don't know what the default name is and then we have two three and four okay from the ordered list right here okay so pretty neat right so you could right uh, put additional HTML in here if you wanted to, just if you wanted to. Uh, let's just put a paragraph here that says, uh, our finest selection of burgers. Okay, so let's do that. And I'll go back here. Whoops, I'll go back here. I'll refresh. And you see, we, we have a paragraph in there, right? Okay, so just know, okay, that the content has to appear before the closing li element of the first item, like burgers, right? So I could actually put things before it, right? I could probably do things like, uh, whoa, yeah, that was burgers, right? Let me just go back here. I could do things, I can put an image in there if I wanted to, right? I can stick, uh, if I wanted to, uh, an image, whoops image source equals I'm gonna I'm not gonna do anything right now but if I wanted to yeah I, I could do that too in fact I could assign a class to it I'll just say maybe a uh, float image something like that and that would uh, uh, apply a CSS float image right the 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 CSS for uh, dot float image and it would honor the properties and values that I have in the CSS. And maybe that's something you'll need to do for your products page, okay? To be able to float those images to the right. But I'll let you research that, okay? So I'm just gonna go back here and I'm just gonna put this back to what I had originally, okay? And uh, there we go, okay? Now, just to make things easier, right? I'm gonna go under, not to make things easier, but just to carry on here. Right, I am going to put in another unordered list. I'll just do sandwiches. I'm not going to do the whole thing. And we'll have a list item that says turkey. And then we'll have uh, ham. Uh, and then we'll have a roast beef. Roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. And if I preview this page, go back, you can see here that we have the second list. Okay. So pretty neat so far. I mean, that's kind of the gist of the products page. Now, I'm not going to reveal all of the, the tips and tricks that you'll need to do uh, in your page, but I wanted to show you how to properly do the listing, uh, the nesting of lists or other elements inside of an outer list, okay? So just notice here, here's the closing li for the burgers on line 10, and then inside is HTML, okay? Now, let's say, okay, we assign a class, class to this, um, this numbered list, okay? This ordered list, okay? And let's just call it uh, uh, menu stuff, okay? Poor name, but it works for now. Now, I don't have any CSS defined for this particular page yet, so let's just do that. Link relate uh, relationship equals style sheet, right? And then what? href equals, we'll just call it menu.css, okay? Uh, 
and we'll go create a new CSS file called menu.css. So let me put a comment in here, menu.css. And dot menu stuff is the name of the class. And here we'll put list uh, style type. And we'll put in upper dash Roman. Okay. So let me save this. And uh, this is called, uh, what should, uh, what did I name it? Menu.css. So let me call this uh, menu.css. And let's go back here. And let's go back here. And look at that. You see what happened here? When I set right to upper Roman, I was able to see the the markers here change to upper Rom upper Roman, right? And if I want to do lower Roman, lower Roman, right? I go here and there they are as lower Roman case, okay? So let's go back into the uh, the the HTML here. And for these these uh, the unordered list in here, let's get a class here that says, uh, we'll just call it items, okay? Again, not a great name, but a name. And let's change, right, let's change uh, dot items, and let's change the list style uh, style type to uh, square, yeah, square, tip to be square, right? So let me go back and refresh, and look at that, on the first list, since it has the class, right, dot items, we see the squares, okay? And on the other list, which does not have the class of items, there are still those, those circles, right? So check it, check it out. Let me add the class right here, class equals items. And if I go here and I refresh, now they're squares, okay? I hope this short video helps you with your products uh, and services pages. If you have questions, just let me know.